All right, everyone, another way for us to pick up on the rib cage positioning without loading the wrist quite as much is to do different hanging exercises. So I can increase the mobility of my shoulder, I can increase the mobility of my wrist by securing the abdominals, by securing the rib cage to stay nice and rounded, right? I don't wanna be arched up like this because then I don't have as much shoulder mobility as I do when I'm set back and I can come back like this. So, hanging is a really good way to go about this. So, <laughs> this is the drawback of not having a gym at your home, uh, but I do have a shed and it's pretty sturdy, so we're gonna try it out. First variation here is to hang but support your feet. So as long as you have the grip strength to be doing this, uh, this one can be really helpful. So I'm gonna grab on to my bar, quote unquote, up top, and I'm gonna put my foot on a little block here. It doesn't have to be this high, this is just kind of making it a little easier for me. And I can even push with my feet a little bit to take some stress off my hands, or I can relax as much as possible if I want to increase the stretch that I feel in my arms and everything. Uh, to do this one correctly, you have to <sighs> tuck those hips, let your butt sink straight down, and now I feel <sighs> a really big stretch coming in through my pec and a little bit of lat. I don't get a whole lot of lat stretch, but I do get a lot of pec stretch, and I'm just going to hang on to that position while I breathe in. Feel some stuff in my butt moving around, that's good. And there we go. So when you're going through this one, if you're looking from the side, again, it's just like all those other exercises, I want a nice expansion of the back when I breathe in. I don't want to breathe in like this where I'm arching up because that means I'm not getting the position of the ribs that I need for this. So this was hanging with support. 